Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let me tell you how to write the answer for the question in exam to get full marks. Here I have taken some example question to explain Ohm's law. Explain Ohm's law is the question they have given and it is given for 5 marks. And the answer should be a statement first. We need to write the statement of Ohm's law as it is. If you write the statement, it will be for 1 marks. And then any expression associated with that, any formula which is supporting the Ohm's law, we are supposed to write. It carries one more marks. And then we need to write the circuit for that. The circuit, correct circuit indicating the Ohm's law, it carries one more marks. And then I need to start explaining about the circuit. Here in this circuit, I will be having a resistor connected to a battery. And ammeter is there, voltmeter is there. This ammeter is for measuring a current. Voltmeter is there for measuring a voltage across the resistor. If you write like this, it will be the first half of the explanation. And then I need to write the actual working of the circuit. Here in the Ohm's law, I am going to explain how the current flow will be and how the voltage is going to vary across the resistor and how the resistor is going to provide the current and voltage relationship. This is what the explanation they are going to expect. This carries two marks. If you write this much, then only you are going to get full complete 5 marks. Suppose the same question asked for the 10 marks. If the question is asked for 10 marks, what extra we are supposed to write? The same explanation and the statement with circuit will not give you 10 marks, right? We need to write something extra in the explanation and also with respect to the formula or the expression is concerned, the other formulas what we can write which is supporting Ohm's law means V is equal to IR supporting Ohm's law and we can also write I is equal to V by R, R is equal to V by I and also we say current and voltage are directly proportional and then current will be depending on the voltage and how the resistor is going to behave. These are all the things we can explain extra so that explanation carries 5 marks here in a 10 marks question generally. So formula or the expression and any other analysis will be having 3 marks. This is how a 10 marks question and the 5 marks question will be answered to get the full marks. So the typical method of answering a question is that first we need to write about the topic generally. One or two lines we need to write the definition or the statement or what it is all about. And we need to write the diagram or the circuit or necessary representation or the pictorial representation of that particular topic. And then we need to write the explanation for the contents in the circuit or parts of the diagram we can say. And we need to explain the working or the behavior of that circuit, how actually it will work. And then we need to conclude in one or two lines. This is the typical method we need to follow to get the maximum marks for that question. And then you might have observed in the question paper, they have mentioned L1, L2, L3, L4 like that against the questions. What this L1, L2, L3 indicates means we are following Bloom's taxonomy while setting the question paper. Means the student analysis will be in these levels. L1 question contains only what is something or to write the statement of Ohm's law and what is an amplifier. Like these questions will be come under remember. And to explain that amplifier, it will be an understand level. Means that question will be represented as level 2 question. And level 3 questions will be something like to solve something by using some amplifier concepts we need to solve the problem or we need to derive something. Those questions are level 3 questions. So against the questions we will be having L1, L2, L3, L4 like that in our question paper. Generally we are going to get L1, L2, L3 in theory exams. L4, L5, L6 are going to be evaluated in other evaluation methods like in the laboratory or in the mini project, major project, seminars. These kind of analysis are going to be done in the higher level of obstructions. So L1 question, L2 question, L3 questions if they have asked in the exam, L1 questions will be having less explanation generally. L2 will be having more explanation. L3 will be having more analysis kind or, the, or we need to apply some knowledge and we need to solve. So depending on these levels also we can understand what is the explanation or what is the answer they are expecting with respect to the marks is concerned. So in the exam we need to answer the question by understanding what they are expecting. Then only we are going to get the complete marks. 
थैंक यू